Business Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. the 2K Sports pregame show. Hey folks, coming right up, the Los Angeles Clippers taking the floor against the Houston Rockets. Looking at Houston, they were very effective in asserting their will in game one, which turned into a blowout. And they seem to have a mental edge going into game two. They won the series opener. Chance here to hold serve, go up two zip. Check, what's the key for them to take care of business? Well, you can't get complacent. And the effort has to be even greater this time around. Stop messing around and get to the effort. Ooh. Momentum from one game to another is overrated. In a series? Yeah, it's yeah. overrated. Because guys change up after the game. They kind of let it go. The best players in the world, I know, they're not elephants. They have short memories. They are not elephants. They forget. Both teams ready to tip off. Let's send it to Kevin Harlan and the crew. Tap tonight, NBA playoff action continues. It's game two of the Western Conference semifinals. Moments away, it'll be the Los Angeles Clippers going up against the Houston Rockets here in Toyota Center. Along with Greg Anthony, Brett Berry, and our sideline reporter David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Here are the five for the Clippers. Morris is out there with Ibaka. Then it's Patrick Beverly. Then it's Paul George. And it's Leonard in at the small forward position. And for Houston, Wood out there with Griffin. Then there's Harris. Then there's Gordon. And it's Hampton at the point. <laughs> Tip off goes to the Clippers. Harris against George. Fires it up. They get the rebound. And Ibaka slams it in. Yeah, and the ability to generate points off offensive rebounds, something Ibaka did a lot earlier in his career before he started spending so much time on the perimeter. Wasted no time on that one. And that's exactly what he's looking for, draining the trip. Okay, well, let's go down to David Aldridge for a report from the sideline. Thanks, Kevin. Well, look, here's what the Clippers head coach had to say earlier. He spoke about his approach coming into tonight. He said, we're playing an excellent team with lots of talent, and they're well coached. We don't want to go down 2-0 in the series, so our mindset is this is a must-win game. Kevin, we'll see if they can pull that off after their disappointing start to this series. Thank you, David. Here's the Clippers. It's a three-point game. They come off a really big loss on Sunday. Yeah, tough game on the road. The guys are defending, obviously, comfortable shooting in their own building. You've got to find a way to break their rhythm. Yeah, they couldn't do it in that one. Always a step slow in closing out the shooters and maybe even recognition of who was on the floor. Just not enough energy, and that's a tough way to win on the road. Clippers have gone one of three from the field to start this one so far. Leonard on the wing. Now the pass to George. And they get it. A shot off that time. And the Rockets take it the other way. In the corner, it's Harris. Stolen by George. The first quarter of action, two minutes in. And a miss there on the triple. And so far, the team just one of five, and that rim shrinking. On the wing, Eric Gordon. 
off the mark there with the three point shot. Beverly wide open. No good from outside. Houston's gone two or three from deep so far in this game. Griffin attacking. Basket is good. The assist from Harris. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. First quarter of ball, almost two and a half minutes in. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. So timeout called here. The first for Los Angeles. And doesn't like how things are going right now. The timeout before the timeout here. Maybe just to cut off the momentum and have a chit-chat with the team to settle down. And on the screen now is the 2K leaderboard with the rundown of this postseason's assist leaders. You look at ABC, currently fifth in the league in assists. Such court vision. And it seems like he's taking it on his shoulders to get every one of his teammates involved in the offense here in the postseason. What a passing display. And Beverly kicks to Leonard to stop the drought. And it's good on the way in. Very easily could have been an end one there. Leonard takes the contact and still maintains the focus to make the score. Rockets leading by six. Harris outside. Pass to Gordon. From deep three-point range, the long distance three is buried. Gordon's got six. And I like to see this. They're calling his number early, and he's delivering. Well, he's going to just keep going now. That's early confidence for him. Pass to George. It's rebounded by Houston. And the stroke definitely lacking confidence this quarter. Nothing on target. Griffin's shot is off. D giving him that shot, and that's probably not a good idea, but I guess they knew what they were doing that time. That one drops for him. It took him a while, but he finally gets one to fall. For Houston, they've gone 5 of 7 today so far. Nice shooting to get this game underway. Here's Hampton. And again, it's the Rockets from deep. All these threes they're giving up have really been the driving force on this run. Clippers trail by 10. Now Beverly. He's still scoreless so far in this one. And George gets to Beverly. Shot clock at five. Outside Leonard. On Lobes. It's hauled in by Wood. Rockets leading by ten. Passes it to Hampton. There's the three. No good. The Clippers go the other way with it. On the wing, George. Guarded by Harris. Offensive rebound. They shoot again, and it's laid in by Ibaka. And the lean frame of Ibaka taking the punishment, but still converting the basket. Toughness. And now the first timeout called here for the Rockets. Los Angeles will go for a different look here. Zubats is checked in for Abaka. Luke Kennard comes in for Marcus Morris. Lou Williams is checked in for George. And it's Jackson in for Patrick Beverly. Eric Gordon on the wing. Cans it from downtown. Gordon's got nine. Defensively, they just look out of sync, not closing out on the threes in time. We've got 113 left here in the opening quarter. Here's Jackson. Green with the rebound. Here's Houston now. They're on a 19-6 run. Outside, House. No good on that one. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. That one good for two. Leonard's got his second basket of the night. 
traditionally, that's how you want to finish the break, right at the rim. Yeah, anything other than a layup in that situation, probably disappointing. Had numbers, took advantage. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. Jackson knocks down the 10-footer. Just no resistance on the inside. That's their fifth consecutive make in the paint. Kicks to House. Let's it go with a three. And there's Eric Gordon on the assist by House. And 12 points for Eric Gordon. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five makes are from beyond the up. Now here's Leonard. He's guarded close. Shot clock at six. And there's the pass to Jackson. They get it back. And Leonard gets it to go. Six points for him. It's like he's got a couple of suction cups at the end of those long arms. Those huge hands from Kawhi helpful on the glass. And so it's Houston going into the break with a 10-point lead. They're feeling very confident shooting the ball with great efficiency and dictating the pace. We'll get right back to the action when we return. Welcome you back to 2K Sports coverage of the Western Conference Semifinals. Let's quickly break down the game we've seen so far from the Rockets, guys. Just stretching out the floor in that first, uh, they had the defense scrambling. Pretty prime example here of how to space the floor and do it correctly. When you do it, that's the kind of thing that happens. Rockets leading by 10. And now brought to you by Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset our lineups. So on the floor for Houston, we've got Gordon. He's out there with prime time, and it's Green in at center. Left side, Leonard. Outside, Jackson. Trey sinks the triple. Jackson's got the opening field goal of the second quarter for the Clippers. Well, when you get into a system, your first system in the league where you share the ball, why Leonard keeping his head up and finding the open man. Traps in the tray. Yeah, these defenders had better start closing down on shooters. Here's Jackson. Down low. Here's Williams. Flash contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. They are just killing him on the interior. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. Williams and that wisdom gives a boost to the confidence of the entire team. Someone the younger guys look up to. Outside Gordon. Outside House. And again, it's the Rockets from deep. You got to try to scramble the Jets right here and get that guy off the sweet spot. That's one of the best three point shooters in the league. We play just over a minute of basketball here in the second quarter. And it's Leonard missing. And it's Gordon with the ball. He brings it up for Houston to the left wing. Here's prime time and another three for Houston. That's a dozen straight points coming off the triple. Clippers trail by 13. And here's Jackson. He has five. Here's Kennard. Williams up on top. Five to shoot. Over Gordon. And good. And it takes a nice bounce off the right iron and down. Williams has got five now. Pretty good mid-range player there. The touch from Lou Williams, especially in those kind of jumpers, that one's on the money. The Clippers have gone three of four from the four here in the second quarter. Here's Jackson. He goes up again. 
That's good. The Houston lead is cut to just nine on the basket from Williams. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. This has not been a good quarter right here. Shot has been off the mark, and now it looks, Kevin, like he's pressing a bit. And with the offense getting right to the rim, at least they saved the layup. He made the only free throw attempt he had earlier in the game. And the first one drops. Houston, a whole new five on the floor. And Los Angeles will go for a different look here. Serge Ibaka has checked in for Zubox. Paul George comes in for Leonard. Morris has checked in for Luke Kennard. And it's Patrick Beverly in for Jackson. And Williams drops them both. Well, it's interesting to watch him because he's putting his body on the line to get to the line. We didn't see this during the first quarter, but he's making up for it here. Clippers trail by seven. To the paint. Terrific assist. A nice finish. Solid play all around. Beautiful job closing the gap here. Let's see if they can sustain this run. Well, they've shown both effort and will to get back into this one, but can they finish this one off? Can't let up now. That's nice vision there. You see that pass. You make the feed before the defense has a chance to react, and that opens up a, a much better opportunity to score. Harris, good. And how about the last five made shots have all been three. The defense is just giving up a lot. George against Griffin. It's good. And the Rocket lead is cut down to just three in the basket from Paul George. Well, that three-pointer's got to fire up George and the entire team. Pass to Hampton. Houston moving it around. Here's Harris. And the Rockets getting another bucket right there. That's the kind of passing you want there. Work the ball around. Keep it moving. Try to get an assist on every bucket. Outside Williams. Griffin against Morris. Nice D from Griffin. Rockets leading by five. Passes it to Hampton. From past the arc. And another three for Houston. Three pointers are killing them at this point. And they haven't been able to respond at the other end. Everly with the ball. A minute 50 left to play here in the half. Morris outside. On the wing, Williams. Six on the shot clock. Trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. The Rockets have gone six of ten from the floor here in the second quarter. Here's Griffin. That's basket number two with his third shot off to a fast two for three. And that's what Griffin does best there. Remarkable how he maintains control and schools the D. 124 left now here in the second. Now here is George. He has five. They need this. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the night right now. First free throw is good. And working Kevin themselves to the line here in the second. A nice way to get your offense going. And both free throws good for Paul George. Just one year in college for 
Paul George and then made the transition to the NBA and all the talk was about what it is we're seeing now a very capable two way player and all star caliber talent. Nobody near Williams offensive rebound and that one's good George. He seems to be in the right place at the right time more often than anybody that's on the court here tonight. We see that pay off. And here's Harris from the arc. And it's the Clippers with the rebound. And now the Clippers on the break. Beverly with the ball. There's Williams with the three. That shot no good. The Rockets go the other way with it. 13 points was their biggest lead in the game. Harris's shot is good. Sweet to be a difference maker in the game, and he's been a great option for them on these possessions. Pass to Williams from deep, and he's good on the three ball. Williams has got 14 points. And really, the scoring this quarter has been just off the charts, doing all he can to bring him back. Bates Diop misses. And here's George. He'll bring it up for the Los Angeles Clippers. They trail by six. And they go to the intentional foul. Really no idea why you're fouling in a situation like that. You know, maybe there's some bad blood between those two. And he makes the first. Yeah, and of course, Marcus with a twin brother, Markeith, went to college together, played in the pros together. You'll have a hard time finding a closer pair of siblings. That misses, so he splits the free throws. Here is House. Here's prime time. Can't connect from long distance. And a close game so far through the first two quarters as we reach halftime. Rockets lead by five. We're going to step away briefly, but get you right back out here for the start of the third quarter after our halftime. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Well, you will not find an empty seat here tonight. Welcome to our halftime show. Ernie Johnson, Kenny the Jet, Shaquille O'Neal. You looking for an empty seat? Yeah. You're that's sitting there. only three of us. Right? And, they're, and the seats are all full. Okay. Oh, you meant in the arena. Oh, uh, that's what I'm talking about. Taking a look at the Rockets, getting out to a 2 0 lead in the series would mean so much to them. And it looks like this game could go down to the wire trying to achieve that goal. This game is definitely still up for grabs, the way these two teams are battling. Kenny, what do you think about the Rockets? Well, the three-point shooting was the key thus far. When you're knocking down those shots from the perimeter, it really spreads the floor. You demand respect from the defense. We'll see if they can keep it flowing in the second half. Shaq, what was your takeaway on the Clippers? The thing I liked was how they were making a conscious effort to work the ball inside. They should do the same in the second half. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Whether they're running the offense through the post, driving it, doesn't matter. Get to the rim, and the rest will take care of itself. And it's just about time now for the third quarter to get underway. to have you with us as we get going here in game two. We're seeing a tremendous game from Eric Gordon. Yeah, and through the first two quarters, he has been the offense for this team. Yeah, he's, he's shouldering the load right now and looking really comfortable while he's doing it. 